can it mean to become human? The difference between biological life and human life. Sure. Can you I give me the difference? Like, what, what are you, how are you cashing out? Like, what do you think the difference is? I'd, I'd like to know what she thinks the difference is between these two things. One has been born. We must be born. One is Wait, alive and autonomous. Born. Do you give squirrels human rights because they've been born? Well, Doctor, it's not exactly a traditional fetus. It's a wait. What squirrels? Human? What? I said what? Squirrels. Did you give oh. squirrels human rights because they've oh. been born? Squirrels, humans. No. No, I know, but that's my whole point. Is you said he asked you what the difference between biological life and human life is, and you said one has been born, but that's, that's not the difference because a lot of things have been born. That doesn't mean that they're now humans because they've been born. It's not exactly a traditional fetus. I agree with that statement. Okay, That's great. So then what's the actual difference between biological life and human life? In regards to a human fetus and pregnancy? No, is the... in general, when you're saying biological life versus human life. Bio as much as people want it to be, you, you're never going to be able to put biology, something as complex as biology, in a finite structure, in a black and white structure. It's just huh? never going to happen. Okay, come on. Nothing will break her denial. To answer my question, what is the difference between biological Words. life versus human life? Biological life, it, like, actually, I mean, you're still biologically alive when you're humanly alive. Yes, I agree. That's why I'm asking you. But not the other one away, right? So right. You, you don't have, when you're unborn, when you're an unborn fetus, you're not an alive human being. That's the point. Okay. He's in denial. Okay, okay, so what species do you belong to? What species is this? Human. Okay, so we got the human. So it is a human. I, I already answered that, like, a minute ago. Okay. I believe I've already answered that question. I'm going step by step. So it is a human. I'm what? You're confusing human with person, which is fine. Uh, uh, how did you put it, Sid? Personhood. Um, so it is a human. <laughs> well, see, I believe that there are no human non-persons. I believe that every living human is a person. You don't. So we'll get to that in a second. I just want you to establish that when you say that in the womb it's not a living human being, you're incorrect. It is a human. We it is a human. We agree on that. It is alive. Well, you just agreed that, that it's a human. So are you disagreeing now? I are, oh my God, it's a human. It is a human. Okay, great. And it's alive. Okay. Give an unborn baby the right, a special right to use somebody else's body against well, their will. We have to establish if you even believe that this fetus is actually a human that, that should have rights or not before we even get to bodily autonomy. You are putting words in my mouth when you say the word unalive. And the K word, I don't know if you're allowed to say okay, that one. So you have to go back to when you take something that is alive, which we agreed, it is a human and it is alive. You take that and you make it no longer alive. If you're going to repeat me, then use the words that I used and say biological life. And yes, it is okay to biologically K that thing. She's gaslighting you. Because it's I asked you, I asked you, because this is, we're going backwards now. I asked that's going backwards. I asked you what the difference between biological life and human life is, and then we were talking about if inside of the womb you are a human, a living human being, and we agreed that it is a human. Yes, we did. You just agreed that, that it's a human. So are you disagreeing now? I are, oh my God, it's a human. Okay, great. And it's alive. She's gaslighting you. What are you talking about? A live human being is very different than biological human. Okay, very, very different. Okay. If you have, oh, you have biological life and you have human life, I've already explained those are two different things. No, I, I, dude, I'm, what are you talking He's about? So in the womb, in the, in the womb, is it a human? It's, it's biological life in the womb. One's lucky to get as much as a yes or no out of him. But is it a human? Is it a human in the womb? Just answer the question, son. It depends on how you're defining it. An alive human. I'm defining no. human. I'm defining human as a member of the Homo sapiens species. What species is this? Is it a human in the womb? In the process of being an alive human being. Almost human. Okay. How? What are you talking about? There's only two states that organic matter can be in: either alive or dead. There's no in between or in the process of. Are these people alive or dead? What species does this fetus belong to? What species is this? Because every pro-lifer is just like you said, that you believe it's a person right when it becomes conceived, Wait, which is so disingenuous. We're, no, we're talking about the species because you're not, you're not saying that it's a human. So I ask again, ah. 
Do you know what is human geography? Ah! What species is this? Let's talk about the species. Let's talk about sperm. Is that not human? Don't you dare say sperm in this house. No, it's not a human. No, this is literally... In an uninhibited society, a 12-year-old would know most of the biology, which I will have to give you in formal lectures. This is literally your argument here. I would agree that sperm is of the Homo sapien species. Yes, it is not an organism of the Homo sapien species, but we're talking about if you think that the fetus is a living, alive human or not. No. No, okay, so... Okay, great. So what species does it belong to? Just answer the question, son. I've already answered that. Okay. I believe I've already answered that question. Okay, so it is a human. So we got that one. So is it alive? There is, I don't know how many times I can say this for you. There is a difference between biological I life. I know, I know, I know. But I'm trying to, pr I'm trying to help you understand that inside the womb, it is a human life. Like you I assure you, it is human. You keep saying there's a difference between biological and human life. Sure, I don't know what that difference is because the only difference that you gave me is one has been born. Yeah, that's a big thing. Being Squirrels like, have been born. What? Squirrels. Right? And it's not a part of They're the not species. human life. Yeah. We're talking about human rights here. Why are you talking about squirrels? What? Squirrels. Because if you're saying there's a difference between biological life and human life, and then you say the only difference is that one has been born, then I'm going to say, okay, there's a lot of things that have been born and they're not human lives. It's not exactly a traditional fetus. So there has to be something else that differentiates biological life from human life. Earth. No, that's because whales are born, <laughs> and they're not human species. Okay, what, great, what gives great, us great, the right to great. give unborn humans? I will call them unborn unborn humans, because right? I think they what are. Give any of us the right to give unborn humans special and more rights than other humans? They don't have more rights. They have the same rights as any other child because they have the right to their mother's care. Hey, ma. Can we get some meatloaf? They have the right to their mother's care. You do that's being disingenuous. Exactly. No, it's literally not. They are a human being. There is they are a child, and they are being cared for by their mother. Yeah, and T Rex, you do realize you can make you can you can concede to the point that it's a biological human being, and it acknowledges science and still say I don't consider it a person. Uh, how did you put it, Sid? Personhood. So therefore, I and, and have a separate argument for that. Like, I don't know why you think that you have to like, like die on this like terrible hill and like say and like deny science. It's not a, I'm not denying science. I said that biological life starts at conception. I've never denied science. Biological human life? Yes. That is a uh, human. I've Wait, already so a so an individual human entity comes into existence at conception. Life begins at conception. We've already been through this. Wait, why are you like incapable of engaging? Yeah, she's in, dude. Okay, so I think that what's going on is what Catholic Mike said. You don't understand that the terms we normally use are human and person. Now, I think that humans, there's no such thing as like a living human that's not a person. I think that if you're a human, you're a person. Um, so if you're saying that there are some biological humans that are not persons, meaning they don't deserve rights, then you have to tell me why they don't deserve rights. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yes, why does birth matter? We must be born. Because you gain human rights, it is. it makes the most sense to gain human rights when you're born. Why? why? Because it makes the most sense. That's not... I, and I say it makes the most sense that you gain human rights the second you become a human. Okay, that doesn't tell you anything. That tells me nothing.